All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back uh, to the channel, I guess, because um, this is a new game on the channel. This is, I think, replacing Borderlands 2. Uh, I was going to start up the Saints Row series, and there should be music playing, but I've muted all the music because a lot of it is copyrighted, and I don't want to deal with copyright claims. Um, so a lot of the driving around will be kind of quiet because uh, uh, obviously no, no radio, but there is music, and there's a pretty decent selection of music. There's a bunch of different genres, and it's pretty good. Um, but if you never play the Saints Row game, you play as gangsters, and you play as a Saints Row. And I would have played the first game, but I don't know where it is. <laughs> it's a very hard game to come by, <laughs> or at least it feels like it. Um, so I've never really played the first one, but I have a very vague idea what goes on. Um... I guess the most important part is that we were on a boat talking to some people, uh, some pretty high like officials, and it blew up, and we got we were hit by the impact. We weren't killed though, obviously, because we're playing the say, the the sequel. Um, but we start off in a hospital, well, prison hospital, because we are a, a thief. You'll never guess who's awake. You shouldn't be. Come see for yourself. How long has it been? Years. I stopped keeping track a while ago. I can't believe it's been that long. Time flies when you're watching someone breathe through a tube. How's the family? My wife's cheating on me with an altar exec, and uh, my daughter sits in her room listening to Aisha albums all day. <laughs> oh, Good. Dead one. Good. She sure releases a lot of records. <laughs> no shit. God, that was a hell of a year. Alderman Hughes, Mayor Winslow, Aisha, Chief Monroe. All murdered by that asshole who's been sitting in intensive care on taxpayers' money. He said he wouldn't pull the plug. Lord knows why. Anyone Troy was chief? part of our team, right? The press has been mobbing him with phone calls. Oh, about the... Yep. I forgot that was today. You should pay more attention. Fuck off. How's the patient? Seeing as they're still breathing after being caught in a massive explosion, I'd say pretty good. Coming through! What happened? Shanking. Put him over there. Sorry about that. Have they said anything yet? Not yet. But I'm about to take the bandages off. So that pretty much explains the entire event of the first game. Uh, that's all I know about the first game. And I think you meet a character from the first game at the end. But now we have character creation. And that's pretty much what this entire video is going to be. I was going to speed this section up. Um, but I wanted to show off all the different intricacies and different things you can do. You can change sex, race, uh, your age, your weight. Uh, these are the, just the presets, but you can interact with it and, like, fiddle around and get the right one. I tried to make a realistic one, a realistic version of me, but I don't know. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, the, not the fattest dude around, but I'm not the skinniest. But you can change body shape to have negative 50 for a guy, which would be female, and for, fe uh, for dude, I guess it's just muscle. Um, so... Yeah, then you can change muscul uh, muscularity, fatness, age, and you can change the skin tone. <laughs> it can look really weird because you can look really, really buff and fat at the same time. So you look sort of like the blob. Um, the character creation this is so weird sometimes because you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> you can change fatness, as I said, become really, really fat. You can do a lot of really funky stuff. I wanted to look at the face because that would change the age, but it's like, eh, you don't really need that. Uh, you can change a lot of skin tones. Uh, let's see, there's three by whatever, six, which is math. And I think I just stuck with the original one anyway. You can change the, the face by, like, altering how everything is. Um, you know, the typical stuff. I do change the eye, eye color because I do have blue eyes. You can also have gray eyes, which is, I guess, I guess it happens. Um, I've just never really seen anyone with gray eye, gray eyes. And I was like, eh, it looks sort of like me. It's not exact, but whatever. The character models in this game look a little outdated for most games, so... <laughs> and they do look a little weird. Um, a lot of hair. And I think this is both male and female in the same uh, pairing, so... But then again, it's hair, so it really shouldn't matter. You know, there's no gender-specific hairstyle. Uh, so yeah, you have a lot of customization with the characters, which is really cool. You can also change the personality, as we'll get into later. Uh, you, I think there's three different preset male voices, three different female, uh, voices. Um, I think, yeah, so there's a lot of, like, variety. I think there's a British guy, uh, 
a black guy and a white guy's voice for the males. And then I think the female is white, black, and Chinese. I think that's who that is. I think that's the six different voices. Um, or at least the different eth ethnicities for the voices. So there's a wide variety. But I usually play as the British <laughs> the British voice. Partially because I, w I lived in England for like 10 years. So I, I kind of prefer English voices <laughs> over the American one. I don't know if that's racist. Is that is that racist? Preferring one accent than another? Just because you, you grew up listening to it? I don't know. Probably probably racist. I see that's more arrogant, but... Well, oh, whatever. I don't care. It's a game. Um, but not only do you continue, can you change their voices, but you can give them like little emotes to do uh, that can piss off and... like I wouldn't say make the populace happy but you can like go up to random strangers and like flip them off or uh go up and greet them and they're like hey what's up uh the the mustaches in this game are a little weird because the beards don't include the upper lip because that's mustaches so if you wanted to have a full beard like a full mustache beard combo you're gonna have to pick both of them and they don't really seem to blend well together um i think i go with long beard one See, it looks really weird without the mustache, because I'm like, that's not a beard, that's just like, that looks more like a mutton chop that's just got connected. Which I think there is mutton chops in this, so, there's the soul patch. Uh, I think I go with this, and you can change it to a bunch of different colors, like you can dye it like blue, which looks really weird. Um, and I think I go with a... <laughs> like, I had this really scraggly beard in real life, so I'm trying to find just one that you know, fits everything. The Russian. I don't know. A lot of customization in this game, which is really good. Yeah, you, you also have sideburns as well. So you got chops, you got the mutton chops, you got pointy, which look weird. <laughs> I don't know. Sideburns with the, the, the beard looks kind of weird. I guess the chops would only be the, the best out of the options if you were going to pick anything. Um, but it still looks just weird because I think it's different colors I think they're all different colors so I need to I need to fix that you can also change the eyebrows as well uh, he, yeah you can have like really weird creations that's what uh, a lot of the Santro games has they have this really giant uh, open uh, character creation model so it's really really in depth you can change the facial like structures, individual parts. It's really good. Uh, really taking my time on this one. It's not as long as my. What was it? it was Dragon Age? I think it was Dragon Age. I had like a literal fifteen-minute-long character creation. Where I'm like, let's just let's just do everything. There is makeup, uh, entire face, mouth. You have the lipstick, which is really weird to see on a guy, especially clown makeup, because um, it goes it goes underneath the beard. <laughs> um. Oh yeah, I was like, "What the hell is freckle bitches freckles?" Uh, they weren't showing up when you, you know, go on the variation. So I was like, "Okay, let me just uh, check it. That cheek makeup would work." I don't know. I was really interested by the idea of freckled bitches freckles, and I was like, "What the fuck does that even mean?" So uh, I think they show up after. Yeah, there they are. That's apparently freckle bitches freckles. So <laughs> not really sure if that's a thing. Um, Oh yeah, there's some eyeliner and uh, eyeshadow. I don't particularly wear any of them. I like one of them is called Hooker's Eyeshadows. Uh, here's the personality, so I should probably be quiet. For the city down. There's what the African American. Pint around here. The British voice. I kill out of hatred, I kill out of love. The American voice. Keep an eye out for trouble. Yeah, that's it's been American. way too long since I shot someone. African American. You can never have enough guns. That's what I always say. What I would that one I'm not really sure I about. I think it's it. Chinese. It you could be I Russian. Am? I'm not too sure. I want to say it's it's Asian. It's an Asian dialect, not just Chinese. Just Asian in general, because there's an Asian gang we fight, which I think is the a triad. So that's why I want to say it's China. Pretty sure triads are Chinese, right? I, uh, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's a Chinese traditional organization gang. I forget the other one. There's, there's triads. 
Uh, there is another. There's a Japanese one. That I can't actually think of the name. Nice. Oh yeah, here's the compliments. I'm not gonna kill you. I think I go with. I think I wanted to show them all that because they are weird. Oh, man. you're killing me here. Hey. As long as I'm around, no one's gonna fuck with you. At your service, and a good day to you. Nice the Yakuza, job. that's the name. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking about. Fuck off. I'm right. Uh, let's see, this is I my taunts. I think I go with, uh, not the dog piss. Yeah, I, don't even gotta work I hope that <laughs> glitch isn't in the, 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 these glitches are in the final video. I feel like that oh, is, uh, is John Cena. That's, that's what I think. Think so. <laughs> what, hey? Sass. That's sass. Go ahead and look, cause you ain't touching it. <laughs> Jesus. Do I go with the smooth criminal? No, I got the spin flick. I brought you a present. Cause I feel like it's more of the most like Shakespearean things. Yeah, like instead of biting the tongue, it's like flipping a, him off. You thinking, little man? Yeah, I'm pretty sure with the spin flick. Yeah, there you go. I was like, yeah, that's that's what I would do if I was. If I was in a gang and if I was pissing people off, that's exactly what I would do. Uh, I think I'm just looking at everything. I'm like, yeah, yeah, it looks good. It's about 10 minutes worth of character creation. Eh, maybe a little less than that. Yes. That looks like it healed nicely. <laughs> I'm just like, fuck doctor. off. The patient's dangerous. You got anything you want to say to the judge, you better start thinking of it now. You're wasting your time. Let's get a hold of Troy. And hey. oh, yeah, there you go. Is it really you? Do I know you? My brother was in the Saints and he told me all about you. Listen, we gotta get you out of here. Well, I'm sure if we ask nicely. I know a way out. <laughs> yeah? Then why are you still here? I heard you were in here and I wanted to bust you out. Oh, God. Getting out of here is a two-man job and no one else will give it a try. You really expect me to trust some guy I don't even know? Come on, I just got myself shanked so I could get a chance to talk to you. Doesn't that show I'm loyal? It shows that you're dumb enough to let yourself get stabbed. I'm trying to help you. That is true. You know what I got the last time I trusted someone? Blown the fuck up. You need me. The hell I do. I got the sights. <laughs> sure you do. What's that supposed to mean? How long do you think you've been out? Oh, I don't know, mate. Two to three weeks. Look, I know you think you're a badass, but do you even know where you're at? Without me, you'll be wandering around the prison for hours. Even if you manage to hide from the guards that long, and if you actually figure out how to make it outside these walls, you're just gonna find out that you're sitting on a goddamn island. And I'm pretty sure you can't outswim the Coast Guard. You got a boat stashed here? No, but I know where we're gonna steal one. <laughs> fuck oh, it. Right, let's get out of here. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> yeah, just fuck it. So now we get to interact with uh, the character. And it's been a while since I've played the Xbox, so I get a little rusty. And I think the game starts to lag on me a little bit. Oh, yeah, this is my pimpling. Yeah, I forgot that I picked that up. So the melee combat is not exactly the best. Um, generally, you just like smash the right trigger or left trigger. Um, but they can block and they can stop your combo, which is kind of annoying. But it's not—it's not the greatest, but it's not the best. You'll be using more, uh, let's see, gun combat more so than that. So you can either play the tutorial or skip the tutorial. I decided to play it just to show off the everything. Um, it's <laughs> got my pimpling going. <laughs> True gangster right there. Just stay focused, little man. Um, but yeah, so I, I decided to go to the tutorial because I wanted to show off everything. Um, I found smashing the right trigger or left trigger three times is a better, is an easier time to have a combo than trying to smash like L2 or L, the L trigger like twice and then the right trigger once. Oh, I was trying to find my compliments, my taunts. Uh, and I always stopped the entire mission, which would have been really weird. I don't feel like breaking out today. So there is some sort of climbing uh, system. You can hit X to jump or in this place when you're close to an edge to climb. Not gonna lie, got no idea who the hell you're talking about. But I, I love how he never tells him his brother's name or like his last name or anything. 
I ain't worrying about that until I'm out of here. Like, he just never, ever brings up his brother's name, and it's like, how am I supposed to know? 